A group of 92 civil society of new groups is calling on the All Progressives Congress to allow members elect to elect their leaders. The coalition under the banner of Center for Credible Leadership and Citizen Awareness also called on President-elect Bernard Tinubu to intervene and ensure fair play, equity and justice in the process. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. The leadership of Nigeria's ruling party is in the eye of the storm as a result of his preference for some lawmakers elect as presiding officers of the 10th National Assembly in the past few days after the party's formal release of its anointed candidates, controversies for and against have not stopped. This coalition of civil society groups is seeking non-interference from any external force into the election of presiding officers by members elect in line with section 50 of the 1999 constitution as amended. We appeal to the president-elect to toll the same line of honor that produced him as the candidate of his political party and also he should also provide a level playing ground by allowing the legislatures to do their jobs as provided by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The group cautions the party against usurping the powers of members elect to choose their leaders. What are we leaving behind? The institutions. Is these institutions of strong men or institutions that will live beyond us? So I urgently advise these present stakeholders, they should always have this in mind, that our children are behind us. We should live a society that is very strong on values. We urge the president-elect to allow the National Assembly to select or elect their leadership. We have three arms of government. Don't impose whoever you want to do your bidding to the National Assembly. The coalition says an imposition of leaders may create unrest and expose the nation's fragile democracy to harm. Jokia TVC News, Abuja.